Welcome to the Today Show. I'm Jay Stoyan. You're in for a special presentation as this is part two of our sports show with the guys from Pressbox, Dave Stevens and Casey McKay. We're going to get to them in one second. I do want to mention a couple of things. Again, we're here on Bell 5. We're also in Michigan on CTN. We're in New York on MNN. And hopefully we're going to be in L.A. on L.A. 36. So stay tuned and we'll be right back with the boys from Pressbox. Hi, I'm Brad May, and you're watching the Disability Channel, showcasing abilities. Please stay tuned. I'm Zach Damon, host of the Disability Channel, Detroit. Please join us at the Disability Channel and watch the Disability Channel, Detroit, for all your Michigan disability information. Welcome back to the show. Again, we have on the show today, we have Dave Stevens and Casey McKay from Press Box. Now, this is part two, obviously, because we have so much to talk about in part one. We didn't even get to Sunday's Super Bowl. We barely touched on the Leafs. So, Casey, like I was saying before the break, we were saying how the Leafs won 6-5, and they were able to spread it around to all three lines. So, give us your take on, because I think they said yesterday was the first day maybe since the start of the season where they've had, they've had a full lineup. So give us your take on how how much power they have in, in their vision of the future. Yeah, I think now that we have a now that they have a full lineup, I think I think they're gonna be a great team. And I really think their playoff push is really gonna come come ahead and I think they could really be in contention. Um with with no fans in Toronto right now, I think it's difficult uh for them to to carry stamina and and uh, power, but I think uh, once we get fans back in the building, I think there's gonna be nothing to worry about. Yeah, Dave, that was crazy watching the game in St. Louis last night. The whole packed stadium, packed stadium. No one's got no one's got masks on. The kids did. I saw the kids. I think the kids were doing the anthem. They had the mask on, but nobody else in the stadium had masks on. And I'm just thinking, I mean, that's great. Is it great? Like, I don't, like, who knows? Like, I mean, good for them, I guess. I hopefully nobody gets sick, but up here in Toronto, like Casey said, we're an empty stadium. Yeah, you guys in Canada have taken it to the extreme, but I think you've done a great job up there as well. So, you know, it's 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 just political and certain aspects, and, you know, but that could be a whole different uh, today show, so. So give us before we talk before we go to the NFL, Dave. Give us your uh, United States. Who's going to go? Who's going to go on your side? Who do you think, hockey wise? I, I don't know. I mean, there's so much parity. You know, Florida looked great for a while. Tampa, you can't throw them out. Um, you know, I think there's some disappointment that the Kraken didn't come into the league and perform like Vegas did because yeah. that was the most unprecedented sports story ever, getting the Stanley Cup and losing, but. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, Minnesota got okay for a while. Uh, you know, you want to you want to see, you know, uh, a Canadian team win this thing again. I have to say that just because living here all my life and watching Montreal and Quebec and all these teams, uh, it, it's your game. So we should give it back to you this year, and hopefully you guys can Toronto or Montreal somebody come up with a cup. Well, I'm kind of like Ric Flair. So in order to be the champ, you got to beat the champ. And right now the champ – is Tampa Bay, and you know what? They lost their whole third line to expansion, and they're still number one in the league. So John Cooper, and remember, they still have Steven Stamkos, and, like, the guys had serious injuries, but he is back. And with Kudra, like, I wouldn't count them out, you know? Um, and I, t I have to talk about the Leafs a little bit because, you know, I'm, I'm – Bleed blue like us all do here in Toronto. Die hard, but I'm I'm a, I'm a critic. You know, I'm a hockey fan. I'm not a homer, a hundred percent. You know, if they do bad, I point it out. And I just have a feeling, Casey. I like your opinion on this. That when the Leafs go up against the big guns like Colorado, Tampa, the big guns, they just they just come up short when it, when it's on the line. Do you feel the same way? 
Yeah, and that's why I think, Jay, we can never get past the first round. I think the first round is the most terrible time for us. And I think that if we if we keep facing a Tampa, Colorado, I just, like, I have hope, but it's like, how long can you keep hope as a, as a, as a Leaf fan? Yeah, like, really, like, I'm saying, like, if we meet Boston in the first round again, like, oh, my goodness, like, <laughs> I mean, I'm there for it. I'm voting for them, but it's like, oh, really? Okay, so actually, let's take a quick break, and let's come back, and let's talk today's football, and then let's talk Super Bowl. So stay tuned. You're watching the Today Show. We have the Press Box guys, Dave Stevens and Casey McKay on. We'll be right back. Wildchild Records throughout the GTA showcasing new music releases and updates from all four parts of the globe. Welcome back to our special presentations, all sports today. So Dave, give us your take on how many games are today? Two or three? Just two, and then I think we got Monday night, night, right? Yeah, got uh, the first night. ever Monday night uh, ESPN first ever uh, Monday night playoff game. So it's kind of cool uh, that yeah. uh, family gets to do something that you know you don't get to say they do a lot of first, but still, uh, it's got to be a great moment for ESPN to finally have a home, uh, you know, a, a playoff game on a Monday night. So give us your take on the one o'clock game. Like we talked a little bit about Eagles and and Tampa, but give us a little bit, m- bit more in depth, if you will. I think, you know, Brady's figured out a way to, to have that offense going with all those injuries. I think uh, they got some uh, of their running back back, so they'll have a little better running game today, which helps in the short passing game. <clears throat> I think it's going to be a blowout. I just think that the reality is going to set in. It's a home game. Everybody in Tampa is going to be going crazy. And Tom Brady, I think, will throw for four or five touchdowns. Watch for a big game from Gronk today, too. No, oh, well, Gronk. I mean, come on, Gronk is all about playoffs. How about you, Casey? What do you think about the first game? Give us your give us your your fan opinion. Yeah, so I I just hope that these are entertaining playoffs, and I hope that it gives fans something to cheer about. That's yeah, you know, it'd be great. And how about so? Let's move to this 49ers and the Cowboys, Dave. I just, you know, I, I think that, you know, we we want to see good games. I don't want to see another blowout like last night. Like, I, I hate making predictions because any team that gets to this point is is supposed to be good and should be able to win it all. With the exception, again, I'll say Pittsburgh. I don't think Pittsburgh has a chance. So give us your take on Dak. He's finally got his weapons back. And I think, you know, um, They've got those tools that he now has that confidence to drive them downfield in a two-minute drive and not worry that the receivers are going to make the wrong way or they're too young or they're, you know, they've been out for COVID. They've got their full arsenal. And I think that uh, the Cowboys, if they can come away, you know, I I think the Cowboys are going to beat the 49ers. I really do. They probably should, right? They probably should. But the the 49ers have actually come on late in the season. They have come on, you know, Jimmy, Jimmy's throwing a ball well. So I think it could be a good game. Moving to the last game, like you said, Pittsburgh and KC. I mean, wouldn't it be a miracle story if, if Big Ben pulled it out? Like that would just be, and he can, like, don't get me wrong. He's like, oh, it's, it's not Big about Big Ben, right? Yeah. It's about JJ. It's, a, it's about uh, Watt. It's about yeah. that JT Watt and, and that defense. They Because if they could get to Mahomes and mess him up, I mean, they've got an adequate enough game, team to, to to play good defense and do what they need to do and kick a couple of field goals and keep it a close game. And we've seen that magic. So, yes, it would be good to see that one more week. But the reality, I think, is going to set in. They're going to – he's old. He's not mobile. They're going to figure that out and shut him down. This is great. You know what? Because right now what we're doing is we're bridging the gap between USA and Canada. We have our Canadian reporter, Casey McKay, talking football, talking hockey, Dave talking football. But we can interact and it's good because Casey has his love is obviously hockey. We didn't really talk any basketball. Quick, Casey, what's going on with our Raptors? So our Raptors finally beat the Bucks last night, which was a big surprise. We 
they need it that badly. Uh, and I think if they keep if they keep climbing and, and getting over 500, hopefully we can make the postseason. But we'll have to see come postseason time what what the final uh, what the final call is. Who's our top guy now, Van Cleef? Is it Freddie? Is Freddie our top guy? Definitely Freddie, yes. Freddie. He's really coming to his own. Like, Because I remember when Freddie, I mean, he wasn't even on the court. It was like Lowry and I don't know who's this Freddie guy. Like, I remember. Like, he's really coming to his own. Dave, you have any, ask, any thoughts about uh, the NBA down in the USA? Who's hot right now? What do you think? I, you know, I'm enjoying my Phoenix Suns having a great run this year. Um, you know, I love watching Devin Booker. I've met a couple times. We've interviewed him and had him on the channel. Um, and, you know, I, I, I like watching LeBron and the Lakers get beat up, you know, and lose because of them being that supposed dynasty. And uh, you, you, you can't beat the uh, – the, uh, um, uh, Golden State Warriors and, and watching, you, Curry, you know, what he's doing and how magic that he's been. And uh, just so it, it's made for fun. Um, you know, Boston hasn't been as good as they have. Milwaukee is LeBron done? Been. Is LeBron yeah. finally done? No, I think it's just the, the injuries around him. They don't have, you know, he doesn't have the big three. Uh, they've been banged up or COVID or, um, you know, but if, if he gets, he, you know, he's, he's having one of his best years ever as far as scoring at 37 years old. He's breaking all the Jordan's old old man records. So uh, that's been fun to watch. And I like the old man uh, get out there doing things. So let's take a quick break. We're going to come back. We're going to talk. Uh, we didn't talk uh, Cardinals and Rams. Let's get our predictions on that when we come back. And then we want to talk, uh, set up the week of the Super Bowl. Dave, well, you can tell us all about that and how Casey's going to be interacting with you. Again, you're watching Today's Show. I'm Jay Stoyan. We'll be right back. Are you currently on ODSP? If you're interested in social media marketing, TV production, podcasting, or getting off assistance, please contact Jay Stoyan at 647-339-6847. Or J at the disability channel dot ca. The disability channel showcasing abilities. Hi, this is Rocky Blyer, and you're watching the disability channel showcasing abilities. Welcome back to the show. Before we move on to talk about our week at the Super Bowl, if you're in a row with Dave Stevens, I want to talk, uh, get a little bit of insight regarding the Cardinals and the Rams from Dave, and then I want to talk about what's going on with the Oilers with Casey. So let's talk. What's your? What do you think is going on is going to happen Monday night with the uh, Cardinals and Rams, Dave? Well, we talked about one Watt, but if uh, the Cardinals get J.J. walked back after his injury, which, again, speeding up that healing process these days, you're seeing all these athletes come back from, you know, Injuries in season that they said with Achilles and things like that, legs that I don't know about. But uh, these injuries that they're coming back with. So if, if JJ Watts in that lineup and he, you know, Garoppolo is not 100%, you know, I'd like to see the Cardinals that started the season on that run play like that. Uh, you know, they lost their best receiver. Um, they've had injuries. You know, they've been bit by the COVID bug. But I think realistically, the Rams are probably going to win that game. I think so. I just think I just don't believe I don't have full confidence in Murray yet. And Matthew Stafford, he's a proven commodity. And I think he's actually stepped up his game under uh, the new coaching system in L.A. So I agree. I think L.A. is going to take it. Should be a good game. Should be a high scoring game. Let's flip it over to Casey and Casey. What's wrong with the Oilers? Yeah, well, they've been on COVID protocol. Their big players have been on COVID protocol <laughs> for a while now. And now that they're back, I think they need to focus on getting getting goals and and getting back into the swing of things. Uh, and I think that Western Conference in the NHL could be a, a big contention uh, if they if they if they start coming out big. Well, hey, if, they get, if, they if they if if Edmonton doesn't get Messier and Gretzky back, I don't think they have any chance this season. So. I did. I did watch the game last night. They played. Uh, I don't even remember who they played, but I was watching the game last night, and I noticed Leon way more 
than McDavid. Like, Leon Dreisaitl is a beast. He's big. He can protect the puck. He has some grit in him. I just think he's he's right there in points with, with McDavid, but McDavid gets all the, the accolades in the spotlight. But if you really watch the game, I think Leon maybe stirs the drink for the Oilers. But they can't do it with two guys. They have two guys. I think Hyman's off the line. Hyman's not on that line. After I see. So let's move it forward. Dave, set up. Tell us all about, about the what's going on, the week of Super Bowl, when you going, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, um, you know, for our fifth straight year, we'll be covering the Super Bowl, or hopefully a lot better than last year in, in uh, down in Tampa, where it was Tampa. a ghost town. Um, we did a lot of stuff virtually, which was great, but, uh, you know, the league is, uh, you know, cracking down. You got to have your COVID shots. You got to have your booster shots. Uh, no exceptions. And they, the league can control that. So we won't have access to the actual players in the game, but – Stars, celebrities, and VIPs will continue to be at Radio Row. Um, so I'll be doing shows from 8 a.m. to 5. Uh, we'll bring Casey in every now and then to say hi, and uh, you know, let, and people can watch everything that I do on the Disability Channel as we stream it live on those platforms. Well, give us the dates that you're going. When, how long? Like, um, I'll be getting in Saturday the 5th, and I think we'll start our coverage, maybe pop on and, and test out the lines on Sunday and then rock and roll Monday through Friday. Um, I'm playing in a Stars and Stripes Snoop Dogg uh, bowl game for charity, so I'll be around Snoop Dogg and um, some big names. And then uh, at the end of the week, Lee Steinberg is giving me a Humanitarian of the Year award at his Super Bowl party, so it's going to be a fun week. Lee has been so supportive. I have to say, you know, I, I we've interviewed Lee. He, you brought him on the show. I think he's been like, well, he's always been supporting you, but I think he's been supporting the channel like for the last five years. Like almost any time you ask him, hey, Lee, can you he, mm-hmm. like so thank him for me, Dave? Like yeah, that's, yeah. that's uh, really he, really he nice. Lee, game, so, super yeah, agent, right? super so agent, great. super agent Lee, right? So, and Casey, what's going on with yourself for the week? What's coming up on Sports for you? What do you got going on? So. I'm going to be working on the Olympics in February with Ooh. CBC, so that's really exciting, doing shot listing, so I'm really excited for that experience. Tell us what that is. What's shot listing? What is that? Tell our viewers what that is. So that's basically coding what's going on in every, every broadcast feed, like the time codes and everything, so that when editors go in to, to edit some, to chop something up, they can just look at the time codes easily, and they don't have to watch a whole broadcast feed the clip will be right there for them wow going to the olympic that's true so that's great we were going to the super bowl we're going to the olympics <laughs> that's exciting that's exciting well guys i really thank you for being on the show today for being on two shows today we had lots to talk about we're obviously going to bring you back we'll probably do another uh special super bowl show i think that would be amazing where we can link in live hopefully with casey up here in canada and dave out in la that's where the super bowl is so again i want to thank you guys if you want to check out more about the press box, just go to our website, go to Dave Stevens Speaks. Uh, we're social media, Twitter, Facebook, everywhere. So there you go, guys. NFL and the Disability Channel. Thank you guys so much. What we're going to do is we're going to take a quick break and then get, come back and wrap the show. So again, thanks you for tuning in. You're watching the Today Show. Hi all, this is uh, Mike Kessel. I'm the CEO of Cleveland Clinic Canada. And I wanted to thank uh, Jay and the Disability Channel for all the great work they do. And I know they have a big fundraiser coming up on October 12th this year. I wish them nothing but the best and I'm thrilled to participate in the fundraiser. Thank you all, take care. Welcome back. Wow, what a show. Two shows, actually. We talk all sports, talk NFL, talk NHL, talk playoffs, talk Leafs. So, again, before I uh, do let you go, I just want to say that we are having our fundraiser on February 22nd at Wisconsin Dells. Focus on uh, raising funds for veterans, our heroes. We're going to be at the Super Bowl on February 13th. And watch us as we are expanding across both Canada 
with our employment programs, courtesy of the Ontario government as our wonderful partner. And down in the U.S. now, we're expanding opportunities for persons with disabilities and veterans. If people want to hear more, you can go to our website, www.thedisabilitychannel.ca. As for myself, uh, I'm all over Toronto. You can always touch base with me, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, we're always there to support. We're always looking to help more people. And I want to thank everybody for tuning in. We have a big week coming up. I look forward to interacting with Sirius XM Radio. Wonderful guys, Joe and Balai. Uh, CAA, we have a big meeting coming up with CAA. And do we have our USA website up, www.thedisabilitychannelus. So very exciting, heavy presence for the veterans, right? And uh, hopefully we're going to be meeting this week with Ford Motor Company regarding our um, car show, TDC Classic Car. So there's a, lot, there's a lot going on. Watch for us in Breeze Line, Breeze Line. Again, I'm Jay Stoyan. You're watching the Today Show. We'll see you next time.